the introduction to data, signal, and image analysis with MATLAB. This is lesson one. My name is Jack Noble, and I'm coming to you from Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, where I'm a faculty member in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. I'll be your lead instructor. This course is designed to introduce data, signal, and image processing and analysis to students who have little or no experience with data and signals, but have basic programming experience in the MATLAB programming language. For example, those who have completed the Introduction to Programming with MATLAB course. The level is targeted at first-year college students, but really this course is suitable for anybody who wants to learn about data and signal analysis. The length of the course is five weeks, and that includes four weeks of video lectures, plus an extra week for a final project submission. The fields of data, signal, and image analysis aim to understand and analyze n-dimensional data sets. Data and signals are ubiquitous in modern society. Examples are wireless data communication over networks that permit information travel through the internet, music and other forms of digital art, and neural recording and stimulation signals in medical devices that treat debilitating and life-threatening medical conditions. The sound of my voice leaving the speakers of your device and traveling through the air to your ear is a signal. Understanding how that signal changes as it travels through the air and reverberates against any surfaces in the room that you are in before it reaches your ear is an example of a signal analysis task. If you follow along with all the lectures, by the end of this course, you will understand the fundamentals of how to use MATLAB for signal and data analysis. You will understand how signals, images, and data are represented, analyzed, and processed in MATLAB. Most of the lessons are organized in MATLAB demonstrations and examples. You're encouraged to follow along with the demonstrations and implement the same examples yourself in your own MATLAB code. Implementing the code yourself is a fantastic way to cement the concepts we discuss and to identify areas that you may need to spend more time researching to fully understand before we move to progressively more and more advanced topics. In this course, you will also put your knowledge into practice with a series of educational coding exercises and projects. Okay, let's get started. Yeah.